Hi, hello, happy Friday. How are you all doing? I hope you've all had a good day, whatever you've been up to. I just want to say before I get into this video, all right, that I am so thankful for everyone's comments yesterday. I'm still getting through comments and stuff, but honestly, I was so nervous to post that video because I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't really know what people would say. And you are all fucking amazing, let me tell you. You know, you've made me feel so good about myself. I feel even more positive, you know, about about where I want to be and what I want to do in life and stuff. So I just want to say thank you. A lot of you, you know, were saying about just going for it in life, which is everything I'm all about, you know, just grabbing life by the fucking fanny flaps, you know, and just giving them a good jiggle and just going for it, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, I just want to say thank you, honestly. Like, you all, it just, it means so much, honestly. It really does. So I was really nervous, hence why I hadn't, you know, mentioned it previously, because I was a bit like, oh, you know, I'm just really excited. So yeah, I'm excited for what the future brings, you know, and I, like I said, I am gonna make it into a little series about like how, anything that I know and tips and stuff, you know, sharing it, you know, brand emails, like I said, and how to like get out there, you know, and just fucking smash it. So yeah, that's the little series I'm gonna be doing. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say that. So thank you, honestly, cheers. Got a frothy coffee, cause I've run out of mine. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of frothy coffee, but I'll give it a go, you know, I need a drink, so. Also, does anyone remember this song? It's a really old one. It's called He Makes Me Smile All Right, and it was a banger back in the day. You know, all niche music and, you know, oh my God, just growing up. Like, it really makes me think back to my childhood, you know, well, teen years and stuff. Like, honestly, I've had it on all day, blasted it, just big grin on my face. It's made me smile. But anyway, I have got a Poundland haul. You know, I've been locked up for quite some time with COVID, so I thought, you know what, we're going to go. We're going to go, and I cannot believe, let me tell you, I cannot believe what I've managed to get my hands on today. <laughs> I just, I can't believe it. I about hit the deck when I found the sex toys, the Valentine's range, and there was this big one on the shelf, the last one. I don't know what kind of monstrosity it is, all right? I don't know what we're dealing with here, but <laughs> it was big, <laughs> so... I mean, you know, we'll have a look together. I've not took anything out of the box. We'll have, we'll have a look. I mean, come on. <laughs> Clitoral suction stimulator. At Poundland prices, you're in for a wild night. Come on. <laughs> Can't wait to show you these, honestly. If you want to stick around, I'd really appreciate it if you liked this video. If you do like it, you know, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. You know, I just fucking going for it now in life you know i'd really appreciate it if you like my content that is you know if you don't like my content you just come across my video you know you're like not for me do you know what i mean you do you my friend but i'd really appreciate it this was another one as well throw me up against the wall by burger boy it's very old it is very old music but uh, it just really gets me going um <laughs> not as much as this i'm joking also today i put some um eyeliner on it's gone terrible so if you can see my dodgy eyeliner honestly look oh, I fucking state of it honestly just don't mind that I've gave up do you know what I had it all on my nose all up here I was fuming I thought I've had enough we're done we're done but I shall start with my first bag it felt really nice to be out it really did you know just to go and do a bit of shopping I thought right we're gonna go we're gonna go to Poundland treat yourself girl so I got some LucasAids and then I got myself, they were two quid and then I, I love LucasAids, it's got to be original though. I got this top, I have been wanting this top for a while, I got it in a, uh, extra large, seven pound bargain. So I want this tucked in, some jeans, you know, you see what I mean? Or a skirt, <gasps> just half in my trousers, half out you know, kind of tucked in, not kind of tucked in. Do you know what I mean? You know, I just think it's really nice. So yeah, bargain, you know, seven quid. What else have we got? These for 50p at the till. My lads love these, you know, so they warm them up and have like warm milk with it as well. You know, nice little treat that is from. And then, oh my God, these, Oh, they smell so good. They're Lenore tumble dry sheets. I've never had these. I've never used them, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to give them a go. So you get 34 sheets. Spring awakening, this scent is. It smells amazing. Honestly, it really does. Is it one sheet per load? Now I've got a dryer that fully works. You know, we're not being ripped off nowadays. <sighs> I can't believe that still. 
But um, yeah, I thought, you know what? We'll give it a go. And they smell amazing. So hopefully, I mean, I don't really know what their purpose is. Is it to make the washing smell even nicer? I think, you know. So yeah, they just smell amazing. Like the kids' uniform is gonna smell amazing. And then it's my lad's birthday on the 10th. He's gonna be 12. He's so excited, bless him. Honestly, it melts me heart. But I got him this card because I think he'll find that funny. So, you know, I usually get like sun cards and you know, happy birthday sun, but there just weren't any nice ones. And I just thought, you know what? You'll find this really funny. So, yeah, quid, that one. They do have like really good actually, really good two for a pound ones. Um, they have some like really quirky ones. And then I got this one from Mason. So just a birthday cake. And then I got him these as well. So they are party blowers. So they're just a pound. You know, just for in the morning when he comes down, we're all like, whoo, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, quid. I did speak about a birthday party, but I'm gonna let him have a couple of mates go to like the trampoline park, so you know, we'll take his mates and that and they can all have a bounce and slush puppies and do you know what I mean? So, and then I got a birthday banner as well for my lounge wall. Uh, so you've got these, 50 peach from Christmas, these ones. So they are amazing. Honestly, they are really nice. Got some birthday candles as well. So for his cake and then batteries. <laughs> these are for my lad's controller. Like, well, I don't know actually, it depends what these take. Also as well from the garden range, oh my god, I got this really gorgeous, decent sized as well, pot, so I just, oh, I love it, I love it so much, £1.50 this well, so I'm going to pop my chilli plant in that, so yeah, it's perfect size for it, it's not too big. And then I found this right, so this is a magic message bean, place some damp tissue or cotton wool in a bowl, place the bean on top and cover with more damp cotton wool, spray lightly with water every day and you'll see it sprout so that's that that's really cool i think that was a quid that is really cute you actually have got a magic bean oh my god look so this is what you get inside look there's your magic beans look it says i love you oh it says i love you on it oh i'm losing a bean oh look look at that don't mind my fingers they're full of eyeliner and bloody foundation but i don't know if you can see oh my god it says i love you on it quid honestly i thought that were well sweet stick that in there but oh, yeah, get all green fingers and i've got these as well so these are essential oils so i got eucalyptus and lavender so they were a pound each very strong smelling i can smell them from here so 100 percent essential oil so i thought you know give them a go hey eh? a few drops in the bath or whatever you do with them yeah look a few use in the bath dilute with running water for burners do what you want with them so uh yeah i'll give them a go you know get in the bath and just relax got some harpic power plus this is amazing you know i think this is better than bleaching the toilet it gets rid of all that crap you know like that builds up at the bottom honestly i didn't know people recommended this to me on here you know it's amazing so harpic power plus quid one of my cats has destroyed his collar so I've got him a new one, £1.50 that was. I also got some Jess Wright nails, some white, like, square-looking ones. These are £1.50, right? They're, yeah, square matte, the fairy tale, they are. I had my nails on recently, didn't I? But honestly, they were nice, but I hated them. I couldn't put my trainers on. It felt like my, you know when you're trying to get your foot in the back? I felt like I'm going to rip my finger off. Do you know what I mean? And just doing fiddly bits, like my lashes and... You know, I caught it when I was driving once and I thought, no, not for me, honestly. And they're about 38 quid, couldn't wipe my arse, couldn't do anything. I just thought, you know what, with these, you come and go as you want, don't you? You know, stick them on whenever you fancy, you know, feeling a bit snazzy. Take them off when they're pissing you off, do you know what I mean? But with acrylics, you pay 38 quid, you want them to last forever. I grew mine right out, you know, I thought, God, I'll get my money's worth here. Yeah, I wasn't getting them done again. I did debate it. I thought, you know what, should I just go get them done? My nails are atrocious at the minute. They're covered in foundation. And they've got white spots on again. And my thumbs are going pitted. Like, this one looks really weak. It's not. It's like a bloody slab. But it's starting to, like, crack in the middle. And they're, like, dipping a bit in the middle of my nail. I don't know. 
Um, but yeah, I just thought, you know what? I'll get some of them, you know. Then I got these, well, I thought these were bloody gorgeous. So they're Teddy scrunches. Come on, they are cute. Look at them, really nice colours. Nice nudie colours and a little pink. A three pack of Teddy scrunches by Cozy Club. And then I got some green gel food colouring for 50p at the till. I, I don't know why I got this because... I, I, yeah, I don't really know. I just... They get me. If they put a reduce sticker on it, I'm sold. Alright. I'm like, I'll have you. I'll take it home with me. I don't know what I'm going to do with it though. You know, I'll have to get my bake on. And then wires. The amount of wires we go through. And then some um, bubble bath shower gel stuff. So this is the Carex squashes, which smells amazing. And a can of Coke. Then I got some reduced bread. 25p. I thought that were a bloody bargain. Oh, as well. It's quite soft as well. It's about 120 down co-op. So... You know, that'll do me the weekend with the kids, sandwiches and whatnot. And then I've got some Twix fingers. This is a 16 pack, you know, two quid. That's the pack lunches next week. Do you know what I mean? So there's enough in there that'll do both of them for the week, you know, and one or two left over. Got um, another one. These were two for a pound, I'm sure. So this is Dr. Pepper. I can't stand Dr. Pepper, you know. That's for Big Steve. I used to love it. Now I just feel like I'm drinking sugar water. Honestly, it is vile. I can't stand it anymore. It makes me feel sick. I got some Mr. Kiplings. You can't be a bit of Battenberg, can you? Especially when it's reduced. So, yeah, just for a bit of pudding for the lads over the weekend. Some more B. And I got the dogs another toy to share. They like to play tug with their rope toys. And these, by Rough and Tough, are fucking solid. Honestly, they're really hard. It says here, great for teeth and gums. So, yeah, chunky rubber tug toy. This was three quid, but it is a proper solid toy. It's just as durable as, like, I'd even say Kong, you know what I mean? Them toys. You know, it's... I wouldn't go for the cheap, cheap ones at Poundland, if you've got a big dog anyway, you know, or, you know, a dog that really likes to play, you know. But... Yeah, I know it seems like I don't get my cats any toys or anything, but they've just had a load of catnip recently and they've got little mice toys. They don't really play with toys, to be honest. My cats are just like, no, we'd rather just fucking shit everywhere, be sick everywhere and, you know, rip open your bread on the side, which is what they do, you know. If I leave anything on the side, food-wise, I left a packet of crumpets recently. Bear in mind, my cats get fed all the time. There's always food down, all right? They fucking destroy everything. They open a packet of crumpets. <laughs> They try and get in everything. They're so naughty. I also got this makeup gallery powder as well. This, I told you before, it's amazing. Quid. And then now, we don't, I mean, I don't know what the fuck this is. Come on. What is... <laughs> this is Powland's sex toy range. I still will never forget when the gas man came in my bedroom without even me knowing. And I had a few things down my side of the bed. <laughs> I didn't realise, but when I realised it was in my room, my heart sunk because... You know, knickers in trousers everywhere, bloody sex toys my side of the bed. That's just because I weren't expecting someone to go in my room, do you know what I mean? I thought, fucking hell. But this is Poundland's Nucky range, okay? I couldn't get my hands on it last time. Honestly, when I seen it, I was like, no way. <gasps> Gotta get it. And they're so cheap as well. Like, this was about four quid. This is a clitoral and G-spot vibrator. So, <laughs> it's 8.2 inches, wait. Hey, y'all. <gasps> It requires two AAA batteries. I ain't got any AAAs. I'll have to take it out of the remote for the telly. <laughs> Sorry, we're not watching telly tonight. <laughs> joking. It says on the back, why have one orgasm when you can have two? Hey, two, my friend. This multi-speed pleasure vibe is designed to stimulate the clitoris and hit that dreamy G-spot. <laughs> but twice as much fun, so let's have a look at it, shall we? Hey. This one, I think, was about £4. I don't know where the receipt is. So, this is what it looks like. Well, here it is. <laughs> it's, you know, got all your bitties and bobbies, eh? I'm sure my telly batteries, which are AAA, you know, I've been in there years. Honestly, you know, when it runs out, I just, I give them a slap and like move them about a bit in the work again. So I don't think I've changed them in a while. The next one is a clitoral suction simulator. I have to say, I had my eye on one of these a while back online, you know, three quid. Three quid down Poundland. Hey, come on, cheap frills and all that. The tab, the sellotape was already broken. <gasps> I'm sure this has been, look at that. The sellotape, I'm sure this has been opened. 
They fucking sold me one that someone's had the flaps on already, haven't they? No, surely not. It's got an hair on it. That'll be off me though. Well, I fucking hope anyway, but someone's pubes. <laughs> I hope that's not. I'm covered in dog hair, so it probably is just off me. Well, anyway, this is a clit sucker, basically. So, I don't know what batteries this one takes. I think they're all AAA, you know. To come to pink power with this petite portable stimulator that will tease and please your clitoris with its gentle suction action, bringing you the ultimate pleasure. On the side, it says pinpoint clitoral stimulation, 11 suction patterns, fucking hell. I mean, for a right wild night. I'm just looking on the receipt and it says suction stimulator. Tenor, that were a tenor. That's what that says, a tenor. Almost certainly didn't say a tenor on the shelf. It probably is. How can that be a tenor? All right. And this, which gives you two. Wee. <laughs> be four quid. Crazy. Well, anyway, this one was three quid, right? So this is the vibrating love egg with remote. That is this, and it says, can you keep a secret? Insert this double-headed remote-controlled love egg. Choose from one of 10 pulsating settings and enjoy sexy sensations. Okay you know all night long hey this looks a bit snazzy you know so this is <laughs> this is that one so yeah there we have it get yourself down poundland for a cheap thrill <laughs> honestly this is tingle gel um which was a pound i have to say i don't really rate you know these i think they're crap don't really do anything not this particular one i haven't used this um but this is the orgasm tingle gel soothe me seduce me tingle and tantalize cooling menthol infused lube will ensure you're fully prepared for <laughs> a long and indulgent session well i hope it's all right and safe on me bits so it don't cause a flat fire isn't it that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it you know yeah <laughs> as always my friends don't let any dickheads get you down you're fucking amazing all right like I said, get yourself down Poundland. Have a good weekend, won't you? Whatever you're up to. And I hope whatever you're doing, whatever you are in the world right now, you're having a great day or evening. And I'll see you in my next video.